Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to 1922 Project. My name is Kelly. Long time no see. It's been a crazy, crazy summer. Um, today, I just have a really quick tip on um, something that I'm currently doing in Silhouette Studio. Um, so I thought I would show you guys that. Um, I, I couldn't find a video on it when I looked on YouTube. So I thought, well, now that I've figured it out, I need to make a video so that it's there for other people. Um, I also wanted to do a really quick video because uh, later this week or next week, I am doing an extended um, video on, um, kind of detailed video on a new product I received. Um, and I didn't want to be my usual chatty self in that, but I also didn't want to like, it's been, I think a month since I've made a video. So I didn't want to just like do that sort of like product review without one of my typical videos. So, um, if you are new here, I have a sewing and embroidery business. Um, lately I've been doing a lot of screen printing. Um, this is my new press. This is not the video that I'll be doing um, my product review on. This is just an Amazon purchase that I made. Um, I spray painted it. It was blue. I didn't want it to be blue. Um, I had, if you look at some of my previous videos, I had a one, um, one color press. I upgraded to a four color because I'm fancy. Um, and I'm about to make a shirt with uh, three colors and I wanted to do something in Silhouette Studio um, and I couldn't, again, I couldn't really figure out how to do it. So I'm going to turn you around in just a minute um, and show you guys what I did. Again, this is a super quick video. I'm not going to go over the screen printing. I did that in a previous video. Frankly, not many people watched it, so must not be that popular you know, with the screen printing. Um, the next video will be embroidery related. So if that's something that you are typically here for, just know that that's coming. Um, but what I wanted to, well, let me show you. So I typically start off with a little show and tell. So let me do my quick show and tell. They are both um, screen printed things. Okay, so they were on the other side of the room. Like, this is a literal spur of the moment video. Again, I was kind of working on it, and I was like, oh, let me slap on my bra and show you guys what I'm doing. So, anyway, these are the two that I did. These are a um, special request um, for my aunt and uncle who are about to retire. We have um, Papa Jay and then um, Mimi, clearly they are preparing to retire and spend some time with their grandson. Um, this one is really cute. I don't know if you can tell, but this um, ink is kind of pearlescent. Um, so I'm really happy with this one. The fun thing about doing stuff for family is you get to just do whatever you want. I mean, they were like, give me a sweatshirt. I'm like, okay. Um, <clears throat> and by the way, this brand of sweatshirt I got from... S and S and it is super comfy and cozy and cute. Um, so, okay. So we have those two. Those are my show and tell. Now the other shirt that she wanted. So, um, not just, um, Mimi and Papa J time, but we're also doing some volunteer work. So she wanted a special like volunteer, um, t-shirt and I want to do it in three different colors since I've got, um, my new press and I want it to be volunteer three times in three different colors. And then I wanted it swoopy. Well, I couldn't figure out, and that's an official term, by the way. I couldn't figure out how to make it swoopy in a very efficient fashion on Silhouette Studio. But I just figured it out. So let me turn you around and show you. All right, I'm in Silhouette Studio. Um, I have the business edition so if you do not have the business edition, yours might look different, um, quite frankly, um, uh, or differently, I guess. Quite frankly, I'm not sure if any of what I'm about to use is in the um, free version, but I actually think it is. Um, all of that being said, if you use um, any kind, if you use a silhouette, any kind of cutter, um, this is a free, you can get a free version of this and I use it for everything. Um, so this one over here, 
uh, this one is my uh, final, res not final, but that's about what I want. Um, I'm getting closer, but um, I wanted to have kind of a fresh one to show you guys. This wasn't quite it. Let's just get rid of that one. Um, but this is kind of close. I want it to have a little bit more of a wave, but I'll tweak that in a little bit. Uh, what you do is you type in whatever it is you want, and then you go, let me X out here and show you. You go over here, and um, there's this little guy down here that looks like a grid with a wave, and that's your warping tool. So we are going to select it, and we are going to warp our selected shape. Uh, you can see there are red dots and red squares, and so you've got your uh, rows and your columns, and over here you can choose how many rows or columns you want. If you leave it like this, you can only warp to a certain extent. Actually, that doesn't look too bad. Um, but I wanted a little bit more of a wave, so I added some columns. I didn't add any rows, but you see now you've got more little dots that you can alter to get more of a wave. And what I did is I just looked at that green line and I tried to make my green line look like what I wanted the whole uh, font to look like. So I kind of just kept, I think I came up a little bit. Oh yeah. So I wanted to go down, then up, and I kind of just took them in twos, two at a time. You can do three at a time and just made the top look like a wave a little bit. And then you have to take your bottom and do the same thing. So you can either mimic it. Let's see, we're going to go. Yeah. So we're just going to mimic it. So we're going to go down with those two. Uh, we, yeah, let's go up. Oops, hello. All I did there was click off of it on accident. So you just come back to it and move those two up. And these two down. And then, bam! That one's almost kind of better than my first one. Eh. You know, it's funny, I, I can look at things on my screen and see them one way, and then if I look on my camera, it looks a little bit different. So, um, so you can just keep going through and tweaking all of this, like we can maybe make our little points a little bit bigger, like that's kind of fun, I might like that one better. This one seems to have a little bit more of a wave than this one. So this one might be a smidge closer to what I'm looking for here. But anyway, that's it. So if you had, if you really wanted it, like to be super wavy, let's make that bigger. Um, you can, I always, I always fill in my fonts. I find them too hard to see when they don't have a color in them. Um, so you can, let's go down here. So you can add, um, again, you have to warp the selected shape first. So you can add tons of these and really be detailed in how much you're waving the whole font. And then frankly, I don't know. Okay. So the, the rows do that kind of business. I can't even picture what that would look like that you would want it to do that. Um, but with your columns, you can really get in them and make that a wave. And that's it. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this um, and I'm going to, once I get it the way I want it, I'm going to duplicate it, which is these two little cubes up there. I'm going to duplicate it, and then each of these is going to be a different color. Um, not these colors, but, you know, a different color. Um, and that's what's going to be on her shirt. I have more of those um, pearlized colors that I'm going to use for it.
One more quick thing before I actually cut this out. Um, do you see how my cut lines are exactly how they should be? Um, just a quick tip for whatever reason, there's a reason behind this and somebody smarter than me will know. Um, but if you group them, it's not, see how it's not warped anymore? I think it has something to do with paths and compound paths and all of that. I don't know the reason. I just know don't group them together or else they're not going to cut in that wave. Um, maybe I had to do a compound path uh, or make each, maybe I had to make the first one a compound path. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Just if it doesn't work, just play around with it a little bit um, in terms of grouping and ungrouping and path and no path, but I found on mine, if I had it grouped, it was not cutting in the wave. So I just ungrouped them and now we're good to cut. So that's it. It is printed. It is ready to go onto my uh, screen for screen printing. Uh, funny story. So I said, oh, I'm going to do this in three different colors. Well, I need three different screens for that, um, which I have. I just... I don't know that I really want to go through the effort. So I think what I'm going to do is um, I've seen the um, pigskins and pigtails. I, I think her name is Jennifer. I probably need to learn it because I reference her a lot. But um, I've seen her do like blending where she'll put, you know, colors down here and then all kinds of blends together. We might try that. Um, I will put a picture of the final product in uh, the thumbnail so that you guys can see it. Um, but again, I just wanted today to be a really quick um, tip video and also just to check in with you guys. I have, again, I didn't really make very many videos this summer, um, which I'm happy with that choice. It was a good sort of break. And now that we're heading into fall, um, we are heading into fall, even though it's still summer and even though it is still blazing hot in Central Texas, I had a pumpkin spice latte yesterday, so it's fall, um, and I prefer fall, but, um, anyway, I, um, am going to do more videos as we're heading into fall. I want to know how you guys are doing. I want to know what kind of videos you want. Um, sometimes I run out of ideas and then people complain that I talk too much about personal things, but to me, I love videos like that. So I'll probably keep doing that. Um, I did get a, um, a laser cutter over the summer, not a fancy glow forge, but what is called a K40, um, which is a very generic, very, as $500 laser. This is not a fancy laser. Um, but anyway, it, it's fun. I don't think I'll do videos on it, but if you guys want them, let me know. Um, we've got screen printing going on. I'm, you'll see the video next week on what I got for my embroidery machine. I'm super excited about that one. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. Again, check in in the comments down below. I kind of want to start building this up again and um, having more conversations with you guys, doing more lives. I did a live. I loved it. I haven't done it since. Um, but yeah, hope you guys are great. Talk to you soon. Have a great day. Goodbye.